ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ನರಸಿಂಹಾಯನ ಮಹ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಅರಣ್ಯಕಾಂಡ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಮಾರೀಚ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸುವೈಡ್ ರಾವಣ ಸಮರಿ ಮಾರೀಚ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಸ್ ರಾವಣ ಟು ಐ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ರಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ರಾಮ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ರೂಯಿನಸ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಡೆಮೋನಿಕ್ ರೇಸ್ ಹಿ ನರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೆಂಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ರಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ಸುವೆಂಟ್ ಆರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ thus i was somehow released by him in a confrontation then in his teens now you may also listen to what happened later in his adulthood thus maricha continued his advice to ravana though rama hit me previously in such a way i unabashedly entered dandaka forest together with two more demons who were in the guise of animals on becoming a gigantic carnivorous animal with a torching tongue incisive teeth and excruciating horns and with extraordinary energy i was on the row in Danda- dandaka forest while getting at rama i moved about dandaka forest o ravana in an extremely horrible aspect of animal utterly brutalizing the sages at ritual altars holy bathing places and under the trees of religious sanctuaries while reaching rama i had i have proceeded to rama killing saints in dandaka forest who are the treaders in saintliness and drinking of their blood and feasting on their flesh on becoming such a brutal animal i have been eating the flesh of sages frightening the forest dwellers and in that way i rambled in dandaka forest besotted with blood drinking while reaching rama while i was wandering in dandaka forest as an abuser of virtue then i reached rama who by then has assumed the rectitude befitting to a saint and i even reached the great fortunate vaidehi and top speedy chariot rider lakshmana i was in the shape of an animal with incisive horns such as i was i i was i recollected my earlier grudge against that great mighty rama who takes delight in the welfare of all beings who by then was saint like on a regulated diet and abiding in the forest whereby i presumed him to be a mere hermit in that way i was extremely infuriated to recollect his earlier assault on me and i indiscriminately dashed towards him only to kill him completely disregarding his other faculties stringing out his highly magnificent bow rama then released three excruciating and enemy eliminating arrows which in their aggress match the air god and the divine eagle garuda all those three thunderbolts like arrows that have only bled for their board acutely bent at barbs and that are highly horrendous have come at us in a coordinated manner as i have earlier seen the fear caused by by arrows that i am in known of rama's valor hence i retreated from there trickily and gingerly by the other two de- but the other two demons were killed when i was somehow exempted by the arrow of rama i regained life span and when that arrow made me to renounce everything like a monk and fled me to this place the other side of ocean to where you came by your aircraft here i am living here in a yogic way self collectedly like an ascetic from then onwards i am indeed descrying rama at this tree and that tree distressed in jute cloth and black deer skin and handling his bow like the terminator handled a tether given to fright i even visualize thousands ramas and whole this forest is reflecting to me as one entity of rama even at a place void of people i am envisaging rama alone and o oh, king of demons even if he enters my dream in fact i am jolted up and swooning o oh, ravana applauding of rama the names starting with the alphabet ra like ratnas rathas that is gemstones chariots are appalling to me including your name that starts with a ra i am well acquainted with his efficiency and a war with him will be unfair thing for you for that ragu's descendant can in fact kill either emperor bali or namuchi the demon you may either wage a war with rama if you wish to avenge the killing of khara and others or forgive and forget that rama agreeing to my suggestions 
but do not broach the topic of rama with me if you wish to see me alive in the world many of the sagacious and reasonable people that are the practices of righteousness are utterly ruined along with their kith and kin just by their misdeeds of others such a saintly one as i am i am bound to ruin by other misdeeds hence you do whatever that is fair to you but i am not the one to simply take after you definitely rama is the one with exceptional resplendence exemplary courage and extraordinary power and for sure he becomes an eradicator of the world of demons if khara positioned in janasthana has firstly overstepped his bounds and attacked rama that too owing to shurpanaka and if rama of uncomplicated actions has eliminated khara in self defense what really is a transgression of rama in that matter you tell of that in the final analysis i am saying this word of advice as i am ambitious of the well being of my kinsmen through you and if this is disagreeable to you you will have to deliver up your life in a confrontation with rama along with the lives of your kinsmen perishing at the linearly accelerating arrows of rama thus this is the 39th chapter in arande kanda valmiki ramayana the first epic poem of india shri moolarama vijayate om shri krishnarpanamastu